Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the text truncation helper class. So truncation or truncating just allows you to cut off text at a certain point. It just shortens something. So we've got this little div right here. I've just put the lorem ipsum text in here and it is cold dash three. So it spans three, you know, columns. If I put cold dash six, it'll span half of this parent container. There we go. But maybe we only want it on one line and only to preview the maximum amount of content that could be put in there. And that could be restricted by something like a class like cold dash three by this specifically providing our own width in terms of you know pixels em doesn't really matter to do it you just put text dash truncate now if i reload as you can see it has truncated it anything beyond basically it needs to be here to put the three dots and any extra text that it can have you know you know be before it that's what you'll have any anything else basically gets truncated so that is a great way of reducing the amount of content on a page just giving like a little preview of what is there maybe the user could click on it maybe they have a card and it takes you to a profile page or an item page or a product page and that provides more information okay so that's for the most part it and if obviously if i was to put cold dash six for example there's a bit more content there just one other thing to note i will provide a link to the text truncation api page on you know the, from bootstrap and there's only one thing to note is that you need it requires the display property to be inline block or block div is block anyway so it's fine whereas if you put it on a span it is not any of them so you would have to put a display property of inline block or block and you could use the built-in bootstrap class of d dash inline block or d dash block and then obviously they've just put a width there so that's really it apart from that there's nothing else that you need to know regarding text truncation if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video